Hey ladies and gents, welcome to a new review. Behind us is the new Dacia Sendero Stepway. This is the new facelift and with a new logo. So in this video, we're gonna take a tour of the exterior interior details and check it out. So without further ado, let's just jump into the review. Here we have the new Dacia Sendero Stepway. Very nice package. This is the expression package and this is powered by 1.0 TCE. This is the um, one liter turbocharged petrol three cylinder and link to six speed manual. There will be lower horsepower versions, but just not for the European market. There will be, I think it's something like 60 or 65 horsepower version, naturally aspirated with automatic, but again, uh, not available on the European market. Now um, I can turn on the LED headlights. You can see those. So these are cold LED headlights, the long beam here and the fog lights are warm lights. To show the key fob, you can lock, unlock, turn on the lights, unlock the cargo, and you can see the new uh, logo. So this is keyless entry. I'm gonna keep this in my pocket. When I approach the car, the car locks or unlocks. Uh, the side mirrors don't fold like on the duster. Duster was a little bit better packed, but this is also very solid. Now I've actually reviewed this in Brussels, but if you're here for the first time, I'm going to include my experience because I've actually tested this now and I have the full impressions uh, after testing this. Now let's get closer and cover the details in case you're here for the first time. Now checking the headlights, they're a really nice design and they kind of remind me of the Volvo Thor hammer lights. Uh, on the duster here they added these pieces. Now the facelift had the same design but inside you can see the Dacia signature there. The black piece was silver and then around the daytime running lights this is also silver so they've kind of changed it up because of the new logo so this is now black and this is white to emphasize the daytime running lights and i love the new grill it looks uh, a lot different but better in my opinion i like the black details here and kind of look a little bit sporty ish over here you can see metallic uh, orange color looks very nice in this cloudy days i filmed b-roll where it was a little bit more sun mixed cloudy sun so you can see that it also it looks very nice in the sun now uh, we have here unpainted plastic details going around it's like a protection and we have the integrated parking sensors here and here on the front and the rear and a little contrasting gray finish there now you can see air intake on the top and at the bottom and we have also radar this is only for emergency braking for pedestrians it is not for cruise distance and it looks like they were planning a camera here but they didn't fit one at the end uh, we have a backing camera so no front camera and the uh, Sendero stepway has this signature the auto models don't now if I back up you can see the car it is looking very gorgeous and I love this design details on the hood it's like power domes i think mercedes has something similar it calls it power domes or something like that from the top of my head i can't be 100 percent sure now ground clearance here is 17 centimeters so uh, that also gives you a little bit of height it's a little bit taller but it's really not an suv now um well, let's come a little bit closer check these alloys and so we're sitting here on steel wheels so these are not alloys i just it's me saying automatically these are actually hubcaps and uh, there are steel wheels here you can see that but they are five spoke so they don't look like classical steel wheels and this is cool because they've matched the hubcaps with the steel wheels and they kind of look like alloys from a distance so you can't tell until you get closer and not really sure how they made this i think the center cap is holding and then the sides you can also tell by this this is a steel wheel but the lug nuts go through so there we go this is 16 inch 205 60 r16 and uh, it's pretty comfortable on the road uh, usually cars from factory come with the summer tires so if someone fitted here goodyear tires they look solid to me now uh, you can see here turn signals mostly facing towards the rear but kind of reflects as well here at night it kind of reflects on this uh, mirror but side mirrors are nice gray metallic but in matte finish 
Now, uh, looking at the top, we have the light and rain sensor. Unfortunately, there is no lane assist camera. I wish Dacia adds that in the future, but still, it is a well-packed car for a budget car. Now, this roof racks are interesting, same finish as on the mirrors. This is metal, but this is plastic. Now, there's metal pieces holding here beneath, but it's covered by plastic. Now, this, if you pull this up on all four sides, there's a Torx here. So, you get a tool inside. I'm going to show you. It's in the trunk. So, you can take these off and then, like, put them like that, sideways. Or you can have them the classical way. Also, there's a panel roof here. It's tinted and it's openable. But I personally, I'm going to show you from the inside, wouldn't spec it because it kind of uh, shortens the headspace on the front. And on the back here, we have stepway signature and the roof racks are cut off at the end. We also have this rubberized uh, antenna. It's not a shark fin, it's like really tall, but it's kind of, I guess, uh, rubberized so it's better resisted when there's wind blowing. Now, if I back up here, you can see the profile of the car. It looks very uh, interesting, I would say, not elegant or something, but it looks nice and kind of a little bit tall, so it is looking practical. Now, no tinted windows on the rear, unfortunately, and I just got to show you, so there is this plastic protection. There are marks on front and the back for the lifting the car and uh, there's this sticker it's like a protection here so it kind of also gives it a little bit um, something that it's not too boring on the sides and over here looking at the back same tires and we have drum brakes on the rear now checking here Dacia signature in the LED taillights but uh, these are actually not LED they look from the side, this is just design, and inside are bulbs. So let me just take the key fob out and use the, you can see that there's two bulbs inside, but it still looks nice. This is the new design, so it's cool. And let me just back up here so you can see the whole car. So rear fog light is on the left. The other one doesn't turn on. I think it might be reverse light. And um, you can also see here, they've integrated the parking sensors in the bumper on the duster i had two weeks ago on a test it was in the paint color but it wasn't painted so i think this is better solution also a little contrasting gray so i was looking for exhaust pipe but you can't see it because it's not on the usual spot it's actually over here behind the behind the driver you can see that and here we have the Sendero now in this kind of stickers. It's kind of rough to, to touch. And they added the Dacia signature in white. And this really looks better in my opinion. What do you think? Tell me in the comment section below. I think this kind of changes the perspective of the brand. It looks better. It's not associated with the, the old badge. Not the chrome one before this one. But the older one, the blue one. I really just... When I saw it, I was always thinking, ah, oh, this is a super cheap brand. But this, this is different. This, and of course, Dacia has, you know, stepped up uh, and developed from those days to now. And it's a really solid car, I got to be honest. I had some prejudices about this car, but when I've driven it, uh, they've kind of shattered away. Now, let me just show you this angle. So the fuel cap is here, but you need to unlock it from the inside and there's a stoplight here with a little washer nozzle for the rear wiper and let me just open up so you can see the cargo space if i back up you can see also how tall this opens i'm a two meter tall person or 6.6 .6 in feet so this is comparison so it opens fairly tall now um, it is a little bit light with the cover so there's a lot of well this is aluminium uh, but it's exposed so there's just a little plastic cover here and you can pull here to close here's the uh, button to press to open and here we have 328 liters of cargo space if you knock down the seats you have 1108 liters of cargo space 
Now, you have a shelf here, so this is practical. You can put a longer umbrella here and some stuff. You can also, of course, remove this. There are rubber stoppers here and here, so it doesn't make a lot of noise. And you can see here, unfortunately, they could have used some plastic, in my opinion, to cover this, because this is just, you know, paint. And then if you put something here, you're just gonna scrape all of this. So I don't know, they didn't thought of that. I mean, putting some plastic cover here wouldn't be too expensive. Um, so have in mind uh, not to scrape this. Now on the left, excuse me, on the right, there are two uh, grocery hooks. There is a, this is for towing, as you can see here, you can uh, take this out. So that's there. And on the left, there is a warm light. And again, two uh, grocery hooks. There is a room here as well. You can put a fire extinguisher here. It is mandatory for company cars. And since this is a press car, of course, it's registered to a company. So I have that in the back and sometimes it can make some sounds and unfortunately there's no um, latching points for like if you want to put a net or something now here there's five fingers of height and then if you take this up you can see there is extra room here so there's around I don't know seven fingers of height to this where the shelf or false floor uh, stands and inside here you can see you get a passion sealant uh, now in the Brussels the car I reviewed had a spare tire so maybe that's an option and let me show you here so this is the uh, this is the Torx tool to uh, open excuse me uh, remove the roof racks you also get this I'm not sure maybe this is like to pull the hubcap off and here this is in Croatia standard we have first aid inside emergency triangle and spare bulbs so that's it so as you can see no latch points whatsoever inside and this shelf it's kind of flimsy you can hear that so if it goes up and down it's gonna make some noise so that's a little bit uh, con there the seats knock down 60 40 you have to go to the sides to knock them down this is the top tether point here you can see that if you have a child seat on the back seat now let me just on details so let me just open the fuel cap yes you're greedy with this dacha theme song or something like in the ads and you can see here i uh, recommended uh, 98 minimum 95 run so this is again petrol Yes, you can see here, stamped from the Renault. So, uh, having that out of the way. Uh, moving on to the back of the doors. Now, door handles are a little bit clunky. So, they could have added some rubber here, so it would be a less noisy. But, closing sound, you know, I don't have to use a lot of force. It is decent. It's okay. I've heard better, but you know, considering budget brand, this is really not that bad. Uh, you have double ceiling here, and then on the rest, there's no seals on the doors, but there are interior seals here. Now, soundproof. I'm gonna talk that when I get inside. Could be a little bit better, but again, considering this is a budget car, it's decent. You can push down here to lock from the inside for the kids. If you have like, uh, you know, one, two-year-old and okay one year will probably won't pull this but if it's in a child seat but just in case you know and over here you can see uh, there's no roman 5 come on camera focus so if you buy this as a used car uh, you know it's not a factory tint uh, i don't think this car comes with a factory tint on the back it's quite spartan and it's all hard plastics you have big handles now these look like they're fully automatic but they're not unfortunately only the driver side is fully automatic so once you press it deeply it goes all the way down or all the way up and this one you have to hold it to raise it or lower it kind of small space for a water bottle and there's a speaker there now I'm not sure if I've said this but this is quite wide so if you need to put a child seat it's okay and let me knock this down so there's a little tab here you have to pull it up and then you can knock down this 
So I'm a little bit uh, taller, so I have to back up here. But you can see here, you can see the cargo space on the back, uh, on the top and below. And you can see top to the point I've mentioned there. So the seats do not automatically push. You have to use your own force. Um, watch for this strap. It's kind of in the way. So this is holding the seat belt, but also the strap is in the way. So you can put it like that. Uh, you can, of course, uh, raise these or lower them down. And on the back, there are isofix points here, but they're kind of stitched. So I'm not sure if you're supposed to like, I assume you're supposed to push it in here. I guess then I get it breaks the stitches. Perhaps you kind of de-virginize the uh, isofix. I don't know. And cloth seat, you can see some contrast stitching, white and kind of orange. Uh, there's some rough textile here, but very basic. And you get this rigid textiles inside. So this is kind of nice. Had pockets in the rear seats. And there's a full outlet there. So let's hop inside. Now, considering I'm a tall person and I was sitting on the front and I got, you know, comfortable for myself, there is a bit tight space here. But if an average person was sitting on the front, it would be more knee room and I would be more comfortable. But feet room is okay. This seat is in the lowest position and only the front driver's seat can be lowered or raised. Height-wise, the passenger can't. You can see the 12 outlet here. Unfortunately, they still didn't include some AC vents here. I think that is something they should add in the future. Transmission tunnel is a bit taller, but not too horrible. Let me just close the doors. So closing sound is also okay. And this is comfy if you need to squeeze a third person on the back. But again, some uh, lack of space will be in the middle. And there's no middle armrest. This is a little bit shorter. And you can see the inside, a uh, nice big window. This is not a huge problem regarding blind spot. If there's a good overview in the back. And they've kind of tried to maximize the headspace here, but let me show you. So, even for a tall person, there's just not enough. It is a little bit tight. For me, I cannot straighten up my head if I straighten up my back. And for an average person, you'll still be touching the top. So, height-wise, it is a little bit limited. And this is due to the panel roof. So, I wouldn't expect that if it's not really necessary. So, this... I don't know, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't get it. Uh, and in general, I'm against sunroofs uh, because they also, uh, 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 you know, sometimes through years start leaking or they attract a lot of sun. Okay, I have a Tesla, so it doesn't have this cover, but in this case, you do have the cover. Uh, front headrest, you can press here and push up. So also adjustable, it's a little bit hard. The car is new. Uh, and they have this kind of Volvo-like design as well. Uh, at the front, you can see the new Dacia signature uh, on the steering wheel. It looks nice. So let's get on the front. And before we do that, just to show you, the seat belts are kind of classical, so you cannot adjust them height-wise. And there are no handles on the top for some reason. I'm not sure if it's because of the panel roof. The duster had uh, for the passengers, not on the driver's side but it is what it is. Now, moving to the front. Now, uh, not to forget the door handles. The driver end has here, you can push, you can like, uh, in the key fob, there's like always a physical key. So you can pop this plastic, there's a physical cylinder, just in case you deplete your 12 volt battery. And you can also see the metallic color, how nicely it looks. And uh, not to forget as well, in the mirrors there is a blind spot warning there but no auto dimming also something i would add in the future list of things i would like that you to have opening and closing sound is same maybe a bit, bit better slightly for a notch on the front doors uh again steel is there here's the tire pressure so these are the tires 20560 r16 fitted on the car front and rear and there's a recommended tire pressure of 2.4 and 2.3. So 
on my test um, at night point of view you're gonna see kind of uh, got an alert so all two front tires and this one kind of lower down to 2.2 this one's supposed to be 2.3 and this one's supposed to be 2.4 according to this at least in bar so moving on on the front also kind of spartan plastic but the driver or at least the front passenger as well is treated with this kind of cloth it is not bad underneath but it feels slightly better um, you can lock here the rear windows for the kids not to open them again the driver's side is fully automatic these are not and you can adjust electronically the side mirrors nice big handle here there's a little bit more room here so it's more decent speaker there and this is in orange color in this case it matches the exterior color in all the models uh, undependent of the color it's going to be in orange here and on the air vents I've showed you you can pop here the fuel cap so when you close it it's locked here are the also rigid textiles they kind of look pretty sweet if you look at that there's also that and you're gonna pop the bonnet later you can see for the manual transmission uh, rubber paddles there you can adjust the uh, height for the lights this is a fuse box it's not storage compartment this is blank uh, steering column is manual and seats uh, same design regarding textile you can see that you can see also the top and the panel roof now the seats you push this to slide back and forward this is for up and down again only driver's side and you push this so you can tilt the whole seat you can see this is the lowest position and that is a standard height it is a little bit taller than i would personally like for the passenger this is just an air vent for the electronics inside it's not a speaker as far as i've uh, understood and let's jump inside closing sound so again decent and switching to wide lens so here's the point of view there's going to be separated point of view video with no talking just pure driving so you can uh, hear the car it was filmed yesterday it was a bit windy have that in mind but in general this car is slightly noisy uh, on 130 it's bearable but going above that speed is quite noisy now my eye level is this so i can see the hood a little bit and i feel safe and you have good tall position there's a good overview through the side mirrors and in the uh, middle mirror as well zooming back in now to cover the steering wheel i really like the new signature it just looks so much better than the old one uh, this is le leather and it feels a bit plastic but i think this is real leather so it's going to uh, be durable four spoke uh, this is the cruise control this is the speed limiter you press set and then you can go up and down for the speed or here press to reset or press to break speedo doesn't flash at some points it flashes on the camera but in person it does not flash here we have the light switch and the turn signals keep it on automatic if it's cloudy day like this then turn your lights on like this otherwise keep it on automatic and uh, in the back here you have the wiper controls there are automatic wipers you can choose the droplet size here and this is for the rear wiper over here you have voice commands uh, you have infotainment or trip computer options and you can control those we're going to come back to those in a moment this is padded so this is slightly padded with the textile feels nice the rest is hard plastic you can close here at air vent or open it adjust the direction there's a vent blowing here to the side so everything is hard and there's a speaker there some sort of sensor there this illuminates at night there's going to be a separate video showing you the uh, night and simply i've separated because it's too long so over here we have a usb a this is for media and there's a usb c here at the bottom for fast charging we have the screen we're going to turn it on in a moment as well and you can see the rest of the dash air vents are below here now in um since there are stepway the screen is on the top and the dust here was still up at the bottom but they've changed the air vents 
design. And um, what else? Yeah, there is here a little cover so you can pop this plastic out, but I didn't really uh, need to use that. I'm going to show you there's a phone mount so in the glove compartment. So this kind of slams down so I kind of slowly uh, hold it there. So there we go. There's some storage space here. You get some manuals in here in this thing. And there's a really deep storage inside, as you can see that. Unfortunately, there's no light inside or any sorts of AC cooling would be nice, but maybe also add it to the list in future. So this is the phone mount that would go here. And then you can see here, this this is rubberized for your phone so not to damage it. This extends and this has this has levels. You can see that and this has levels. So you can control both of those and then those are you know practical it comes here in this kind of bag so let me just store that inside i'm gonna store it properly later so there we go uh and not to forget on the passenger side there is here you can press so you can put like a, a little hook there also kind of practical detail now, moving below the screen and below the air vents, uh, they've added here, you can lock the car from the inside or it locks when you start driving. You can turn that option in the infotainment. Hazards, this one doesn't flash. You can see the, in the gauge cluster there. Passenger airbag, now to turn it on or off, it was just off my night point of view driving when I picked up the car. It's on outside part here behind the vent. There's a switch for that start stop off and eco drive i've never used this it kind of reduces your power start stop engine and over here on this driving column you have the volume controls mute you have a source here and there's another button there it doesn't really say what it is but you can i guess cycle through those and there's a mode here and there is this little guy there there's no key here since we have the keyless entry so start stop is uh, there and uh, AC controls have rollers, nice physical controls. You can press this one. Uh, I'm going to show it to show it to you when we actually turn on the car. But you can see AC on, closed air circulation, uh, front and rear defrost. Turning on the front engages the rear one. There's a 12 volt outlet there. Again, I use this uh, for fast charging. I've uh, got my cable here simply to show the Apple CarPlay. This is plastic. It looks like a rubber mat, but it's actually just plastic. You can hear it when I put the cables down there. And six speed manual. Now the gears are a bit long, not too long. And you know, they're not, it's not a super nice feeling when you put it into gear like on German cars, but it's close enough. And you push up and then first, re first uh, gear for reverse. And look at this, you got to appreciate this. There's no piano black in this car. Excellent. Electronic parking brake, it engages automatically when you put in the first gear and you start driving it, it disengages. You never have to actually, you know, press this very rarely. And there's a switch here for the banner roof. And over here, you can see here, there's um, two cup holders. You can put your key up here if the battery gets low. And here we have a smaller uh, armrest, not really soft, slight padding there. And you can see the space here is deep. You can put maybe smaller things here or a water bottle there. Uh, seats. Now, at first they seem comfy. Now, the top part is there's no lumbar support, unfortunately, but this is kind of flat. I think they could have raised this a little bit because this... Uh, when you're driving more than an hour, it, it just gets some butt pains and it's not comfortable. You have to stretch your legs. I know this car is very popular for taxiing, but you're not going to be happy driver if you sit uh, for so many hours in this car. So uh, if that is an issue for you, if you're a taller person, I would not consider this car for that purpose. And moving to the top here, you can see a little basil on the mirror, good overview in the rear, 
no auto dimming so you have to use the old classical way push the mirror up uh, there is warm lights um, i need to turn on the car ignition there is temperature sensor here and emergency call there is speaker for bluetooth calls documents holder and a uh, privacy mirror and this does not cover the whole part here but it almost covers it so it does not extend but i get again i think it covers most of it so really not necessary to have extension in this case and yeah uh height wise so i'm slightly touching with my hair to be honest you really don't need a roof so in that case you'd have more headspace even an average person i was sitting on the passenger seat was saying like oh i'm missing headspace so have that in mind when ordering your car but uh you have this cover when you open it uh the glass pushes this all the way back but when it's closed this is the max it goes towards rear and now to turn on the engine pressing the clutch you can see dacha there there's uh blind spots come on so the car is in neutral and now the pedophile is actually quite um loud so let me just lower the window so this one's fully automatic so look at this one you press once no you have to keep holding it i'm not really sure how much you can hear because the mic is uh attached to me but it is loud so um, we're gonna come to the infotainment. Let's just first cover the trip computer. So we have uh, classical uh, needles This is a brand new car. So I'm the first person to drive it and it still hasn't passed the break-in period of thousand kilometers So I have to be gentle with driving um, And also generally when the car is new you have to keep it in high revs uh, Don't keep it uh, in a gear when it's suffocating when it's uh, stressful for the engine just because it's not really good when the engine is new now uh to use these buttons you can see here you can switch through those so let me just show you at uh, the first one you can see the digital speedo it's the one i like you can see the coolant temperature and you can see the tire pressure you press long okay and then you reset that or excuse me you memorize the tire pressure and then if you switch here you can see the odometer you can see the average now i was driving the car uh, coasting 60 80 uh, and then I've managed to lower the fuel consumption to 6.2 but today driving through the city and highway it raised up to 7 again this is a new car so it needs to be driven in order to lower that but you know a WVLTP is supposed to be 5.2 to 4 so I think this is you know realistic now um, over here you can see the current drive when you're actually driving range and uh, distance so this has a 50 liter fuel tank and you can see here average speed and that so that's that um, and your fuel gauge is at the bottom you have a trip uh, coach assist so it tells you when to shift up uh, unfortunately it doesn't show the gears now uh, before I go you can see here you can lock our sort of stuff off eco on and off and you can see the AC so you can spin this one increase the fan speed you can press here for automatic you can change the temperature and you can lower the fan speed and you can choose the air direction there so this is how it looks when you turn these on there you go now to come to the infotainment here so uh, let me show you now you can turn it off here you have the time temperature I would say temperature and the date you can turn it on here you can um, here like to at night just lower the screen to minimum and this is the home screen so you have here volume settings I wish there was a little knob here Pref I prefer that but you have those there's a home screen this is the home menu and you have the i think it's a vehicle setup now just to cover here radio 
Let me show you some music or demonstrate the speakers. I can't play for too long not to get a copyright strike. You can memorize here uh, and you just hold in and you can, from the list, memorize the stations. You have here main, you can switch or manually choose the frequency. You have these options here. Uh, you can update the list or in the list you just go to the top and then you just press update list. It just updates if you're in a new country. If you're traveling, uh, media, you can, I guess, use the USB and Bluetooth, you have phone, uh, connect via Bluetooth. And here you have uh, vehicle settings. So vehicle settings, active braking, blind spot, access. You have all of those and those, parking assist, obstacle warning. So you can choose here what kind of sound you want for the parking sensors hold in here you can see here your uh, driving and so on trip report so you can see that and echo coaching it tells you here uh, best practice when driving now uh, smartphone integration you can link your phone via Bluetooth or Apple CarPlay but you need to or Android Auto I think it's Android Auto as well but you need to use the cable. I'm gonna show you that in a moment, just to cover these. So navigation here, you have to agree to this and then you can close this, but I just put it to later because the car is not sold. Uh, navigations, this is day mode. And then if you switch to lights on, you can see the night mode. Now, uh, so you can switch through these, uh, signals here you just mute that you can see here there's a shortcut for radio stations so there's like you can put the presets and here you can see traffic uh, you can go back uh, there's a menu here so route options warnings uh, you can have also speed warning uh, map settings and updates destinations you can search an address or find um, on the map and that's basically it it's very basic there is here settings you can have 3d or 2d uh yeah, there's no pinch to zoom you have to use these and that's it uh you can use of course google maps or ways if you connect to apple carplay and just to cover the settings here you have the volume uh, loudness this is the sound control so you can control uh, the sounds and you can hear control the display automatic for the uh, navigation, uh, brightness, medium, high, devices, device manager, Bluetooth options, and there's like tutorials here. So yeah, Android Auto is also available. And system, so language, you can change language, clock units, factory reset, system version. So let me just show you if someone's interested, that's the software version and that's all uh, let me just turn on my cable so i'll have to unplug my mic and use the iphone mic so you can see i'm plugged in and we have apple carplay here if i press you can see the apple carplay it's nice practical now i'm filming currently with my phone is my camera so you can see uh, sometimes it gets laggy when i'm filming but otherwise it's nice and uh smooth so that's it and that's how it looks and that was everything uh but not to forget of course reverse camera so you can see the reverse camera and the parking sensors you can play here with the uh, brightness and stuff like that contrast uh you have these projections they're actually quite precise uh, always use your mirrors but actually these this system is quite, quite reliable and look at this when I put it back you're gonna see it switches to full without the parking sensors and just resets so that's it not to forget uh, just to show you so when you open this it opens the shade all the way so and that's the uh, wind deflector and then when you 
you need to hold it to close it. That's how it looks. Yeah, uh, switch the car off and let's exit and show you the engine bay. What's powering this baby? So to open, it's underneath the batch here. So let me just switch my hand. It's pushed to the left. It's, you can see here slightly uh, to the right from the center there. So this is not aluminum, this is heavy. You have to use the little leg on the top. And here's the, again, 1.0 TCE. This is the 91 horsepower three-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine. And your washer fluid is in black over there. And there's a sign here not to pressure wash your engine bay. There's another one here, just in case you missed it. You have here Castrol uh, oil. Check your manual to see um, what's the recommended oil. Let it drop, closes perfectly, and that was the stepway. So let me just turn on the lights. Uh, actually, I've showed you with the remote, so no need for that. So I think that's it. Yeah, we've covered it all. It's a nice looking car, definitely improved, looking a little bit better with the new badge and and there are some things to uh, improve in the future, but definitely a uh, good budget car. Thank you for watching, be a cool person, smash the like button, leave a comment below how do you like the new Stepway and if you do like the content, subscribe and click the bell to get notified when I upload more videos. Hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one, until then stay safe and bye.